Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online, the Easter special, and we're here with our brand new little Easter chick. Look at it! Isn't it the best thing you have ever seen? I am so in love with it! And I think that Star Chaser happens to love his new companion as well. So we're here, you guys, continuing the Easter egg hunts, and I thought before we went over and we started talking with everybody in Silverglade about some awesome Easter eggs that we need to find, we should maybe come and talk to Landon. And Landon not only should have an easter egg hunt for us but he should also allow us to go around and chase down bunnies because what better way to celebrate easter than by maybe chasing some beautiful bunnies and helping star chaser to build up his experience so let's go ahead and see what landon has to say for the day all right so we're gonna do the large rabbit challenge and then we're gonna do the egg hunt i'm so excited the rabbits really want to challenge you again. They want you to catch a dozen of them as fast as you can. All right, so we're going to go ahead and catch them because that's going to help Star Chaser level up. If we can even do that while we are using Star Chaser because he's so big, I have no idea. All right, come here. Come here, little guys. Oh my gosh. Star Chaser is not the fastest, but hopefully this can be done. So many of you have managed like that 10 second thing with the bunnies and I have no idea how you do it. Okay, there's another bunny. There's another bunny. Need more bunnies. Need more bunnies. No, the magic power is fading. Why? No bunny, come back. <laughs> come on, Star Chaser. He may not be fast enough for this, you guys. <laughs> he may be a little bit too slow to be able to successfully chase down a whole bunch of adorable bunnies. Yes, got that one. Come on. Come on. All right, got that one. All right, there's a couple more. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. We've got nine. He's only level one. He's doing his best. I just feel like I'm driving a giant boat, though. He's so huge. All right, come on. All right, got that bunny. Two left. Need to find two more bunnies before time runs out. There's another bunny. More bunnies down here. Come on, Star Chaser. You're so big that actually the sheep look like tiny bunnies from up here, so I need to be careful not to catch the, <laughs> the sheep instead. All right, almost, almost. I love this so much. There's so many bunnies. All right, come on, Star Chaser. We've really got to hurry. Right there, right there. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Whew, all right. And now we have 30 seconds to ride back to land in. But that is a really fun way to start off an awesome, awesome Easter egg hunt day. So let's come and speak with Landon now that we have managed to snag. There we go. All of the bun buns. And that should hopefully help Star Chaser. Boom! Level up. That's what I was hoping for. All right, guys. So now that we have gotten Star Chaser uh, stretched his legs out a little bit, he's feeling pretty nice and active. His tiny little baby chick is probably quite confused about what just went down. Let's talk to Landon about the egg hunt. Hello, this is exciting. Will you find all the hidden eggs? I think you will. You're so clever. Good luck. All right, so we're going to look for the eggs around Landon. Hello, person. And then I think we are going to actually look for some of the golden eggs after this, too. So there is egg number one. Hopefully this will go nice and easy. Did he hide one under a sheep? Oh, look, look, look. There's one over here. This is so much easier when I can see, like, the whole field and where he might have hidden some of these Easter eggs. Oh, Star Chaser, he really does look great in both. Oh, is there another Easter egg? Oh, this is not as hard as I was worried it might be. Thank goodness, it's actually easier when you can just ride around and see everything. Look at the bunnies. And Star Chaser looks really good in both of his Easter outfits. So, or both of his colors with his Easter outfit. So that's quite the relief. All right, so let's ride around. We'll see if we can find any more eggs. Are there some hiding up here? I think Landon's territory is pretty much anywhere there are sheep and anywhere there happen to be little bun buns. So let's see, what about up here? This might be a little bit far. Yeah, right up against the edge of the forest. There should be some golden eggs. Um, I think there's some over in... Fir Grove. I think Yorvik Stables. I'll have to I'll have to do some looking. Oh goodness. You guys, I think I think I may have um I think I may have been a little bit too over eager and saying that it was gonna be easier to find these. Why did I curse myself that way? <laughs> I'm very quickly learning. I am not very good at these kinds of like right around finding things quest. So I'm going to try to figure out where the heck this next Easter egg is hiding. Probably a lot closer than I think it is. They don't typically hide them too too far away. 
And then we will continue on and we'll have to go and search out one of the big golden eggs because I think that would be quite exciting. Egg exciting, perhaps I should say. <laughs> Aha, there's another one right over here. And now I just need to find one more. So let's look over. Aha, somebody's coming from up there. Maybe there's an egg up there. Man, I just need to slow down and it's harder than you would think it should be to find the eggs in my opinion. I was trying to say egg opinion, but let's see. Because you think they'd be just like right nearby where everybody is hiding. But you just never know. Oh, darn it. All right. Still looking for that last egg, but I am pretty sure we'll find it pretty soon. But this is a good lesson. I think a lot of the Easter eggs are probably a lot closer to the people who hide them than I think they are. It's not quite like trying to find the... Oh, there it is! <gasps> there it is! I could have sworn I checked this tree! Gotcha! All right, we did it, guys! So yeah, they're, they're not as far away as when you were looking for the rainbow gold, thank goodness. And that's going to be really good to remember for some of the other people we can search for eggs from. All right, so he has his Easter gift to us. And it's some grapes! There we go! So it looks like you get food, uh, just little Easter items from a lot of the people who are uh, running around giving you these wonderful Easter egg quests. So why don't we see if we can actually find one of the golden Easter eggs? And I think one of the easiest ones that's around is actually supposed to be, or, sh or should I say actually supposed to be, <laughs> over by the riding hall. So we might check out the riding hall in just a second. Oh, and I love this Easter dress. Do you guys like the Easter dress too? Like, what is your favorite of the items offered from Easter this year? I'd love to know because clearly I spent all of my money and I need to budget my money better. So if I could learn what you guys really love to collect when we have these special events, it will help me to properly save up uh, for said special events and not just burn out on all my money, which is a little bit of a problem. All right, so Marley, let's go ahead and talk to him. More cooks in the family. Marley, do you not have... No, Marley's not in on the uh, the Easter egg hunting this year. So we're going to go ahead and pass him up. But we're going to pop over to Silverglade. Or not Silverglade, excuse me. We're going to pop over to the vineyard. Because I think there is an Easter egg quest that we can actually do over with Carney, who's Marley's brother. I always get those three brothers mixed up, so I suppose that makes a little bit of sense. But all right, I'm going to pop up there. We might do another small Easter egg hunt, and then we'll move into going and searching for the big golden Easter egg. And we'll see, um, we'll see what the offerings are when you find that kind of fancy egg versus the normal little eggs. Though honestly, if the normal little eggs had a chance of hatching into an adorable chick on top of uh, everything, I love this. I love this little guy. I think it's interesting you can only have one of them too because they make them really, really specialty pets that way. And I love collecting of those. That's my big goal. All right, so we're already here actually. So let's just pop up here. Man, Star Chaser is very beautiful. I really like him. All right, Carney, how you doing? Hello there. Would you like to go on an egg hunt? <laughs> I bet mine are the hardest to find in all of Yorvik. Go for it. I'll wait here. Oh no, this doesn't sound good. Oh dear. Hardest to find? I'm not very good at finding them in the first place. All right, so we're going to search the vineyard very carefully. Okay, I don't see any, any eggs over there. Oh, I found one. All right, so maybe this won't be so hard like I feared that it would be. We'll go ahead and snag this Easter egg and just double, triple check over here. So yeah, it looks like the Easter eggs actually are closer to the people in question than I thought. So that should make things a little easier. All right, look, somebody else seems to be going in circles. It's really fun when we have the events and everybody shows up and you can tell like who's searching for new things. And I've always really loved it. Like when we had that friendship event for Valentine's, wasn't that so fun? And then everybody was so nice to each other and like offering to help each other go on races so that there could be special, um, the special rewards. And it just really made me feel awesome. The Star Stable community has been one of the nicest ones I have ever been part of part of. All right, and I saw an egg glowing over here. Aha! Uh -huh. So there's an Easter egg hiding right there inside of that barrel of grapes. What about on the steps? All right, so two down. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Did you hide one? If I, I were him, I would hide one inside this barn. 
All right. Oh, oh, oh. There's one hiding. There's one hiding behind the barn. I can see its glow. Thank goodness. So let's go behind the barn. Oh, man. Are you guys any good at this? Probably. Probably because, like, you don't have the stress of talking and <laughs> trying to be searching all at the same time. Let's see. There's three eggs. Let's search through here. Can I get through here? Yes. All right. Now, oh, there's another one, guys. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Marley. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Or Carney, thank you so much for not making this too terribly difficult on poor, poor Siri. All right, let's see. Just triple checking over here. I know where the fourth one is. Yeah, I don't think it would be down here because this starts getting into a different area. Eh. All right, and turn around, search. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Hold on. Hold everything. I saw it. I saw it! Is this it? Or is this something else going on here? Oh no, he hid it inside the broken pipe! <laughs> oh, that's so funny! I'm so glad I glanced down here. I would have totally missed that. Alright, so let's pop up here. And I saw the last one hiding behind the manor. And then we can go down to the riding hall, my friends, and we can see what having a golden egg to crack open would actually offer us. And I wonder if Star Chaser, I don't know if he'd be any good at the jumps down there, so we could try to level him up again, but we might try that out. It's important to give them their experience while we're out and about doing these special events. All right, what do we get from him? Oh, and we got a little Easter egg. Okay, so we got one of the chocolate eggs. Easter egg item brimming with candy. I really didn't need to buy them, did I? <laughs> All right, well, there's that. So let's go ahead and go down to the riding hall. Now that we know that the usual eggs will give you... um. What appears to be, actually, I think I need to turn around and we'll go this way towards the riding hall. So the usual Easter egg hunts will give you food. Uh, okay, hang on. Ride, hor ride house path. I think that this is the one we need to be on. All right, there we go. But the usual Easter egg hunts will give you food. So I wonder if what it's really worth looking for are the golden eggs. So now that we've done a few of the common Easter egg hunts... We're going to see what kind of rewards the golden eggs will offer you. And if there's something uh, along the, the same lines, then awesome. We can do some racing with our beautiful Star Chaser over the next day so that we can participate in more of the Easter egg hunts. <gasps> Wait, what the heck? It's just right there. You guys. You guys. You guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is this is one big egg. This this has to be something special, don't you think? I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. This looks like something pretty special if you ask me. Star Chaser's kind of glancing at it. I want to get a good look, a good good solid look at this Easter egg. Pretty darn big. It's shaking. Are you going to turn into a really big chicken? And then I can put you up there. Look at the little chick. He's like staring at it like, hmm, what's going on here? All right, let's go ahead and crack it open, guys. You found a golden Easter egg. Carefully open the egg and see what's inside. <gasps> it is special stuff! You guys! Oh my goodness, it's blue spring shorts. Okay, I'm excited now. We have started to search for the golden Easter egg. So I think that's what we're going to be doing instead of uh, the usual Easter egg hunt is we are going to be popping all around the world searching for these golden Easter eggs. I can't go to all the locations. Uh, I do have a little list of the locations, by the way. But, um, you know, I, I'll try to provide a good list of the locations next time. I want to make sure a few of the locations on my list are are accurate but some of them I can't go to because like the Golden Valley the fishing village Cape West fishing village um, somewhere in the Golden Hills uh, gold leaf stables Cape West fishing village and a couple places in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur have the golden eggs but we're gonna be searching for these special golden eggs next time because I want to get as many of those items as possible so or should I say eggs possible hmm oh, maybe the puns are a little bit strong today but I hope you guys have had a wonderful Easter weekend and are ready for the awesome week ahead and I'm looking forward to our last of our super special Easter special episodes yes can I say special enough times hmm with a star chaser I'm really enjoying running around with him so I'm gonna see if I can level him up in the writing hall and I will see you guys next time bye bye